this uh, used DVD I bought, Quills. This is a uh, this is a pretty good movie. It can be a little boring. I mean, don't expect explosions or anything in this movie, but it's fun to watch them. The, the acting is really great in it. Um, there's some, some great writing and you know fun visuals to look at, and it tells a, it tells a story about a uh, a man that's you know, quite an original story, and it's really good. It's uh, it's about this guy who's in this uh kind of a sanitarium type of place and he's not he's not really crazy he just he's just he's an oddball and he writes these sexual stories and that really just outrages the the people of that time and they they can't believe that they're hearing these stories come from from this guy and he eventually goes crazy because they start taking away his paper and pens and he starts writing on clothes and his his body and it, it, but otherwise, it's, it's a really good movie if you like drama movies. Next is a three ninety nine movie, and that is Galaxy Quest. And this is uh, in the theaters. I saw this, and I thought it was really hilarious. It's really funny. It's very uh, very witty, and I mean definitely. I mean this is you know worth you know more than four dollars I think um, but I mean I, I find it for nice and cheap and I mean, there's some pretty good special features it, it includes a Thermian language audio track I'm not sure what that is but other than that this uh, another if, if you like uh, for comedies this is a really funny movie and then on to all the Italian Italian movies there's a few video nasties um, let's see how many Okay, there's no video nasties, but yeah, these are some you know good Italian movies. Um, first off is a uh, Jess Franco film, it's Eugenie, um, the story of her, her journey into perversion. This is the uh, you know spe special edition of this. Comes with a little pamphlet on the inside, and this is another one of those sex stories. Not. There's no gore in this, right? Well, there's very light gore, but it's most, mostly lots of nudity. And, uh, you know, from 1969, it's very, very, very 60s. And it's, uh, it's actually really good. Uh, of these types of movies, this is, this is a pretty good one. Then we have the X-rated French version of 99 Women. Now, this... This kind of movie reminds me a lot of Caligula, because there's a on DVD there's a director's cut of this movie. Then there's this X-rated French version, which is basically the director's cut added with a whole bunch of you know strong hardcore sex scenes in it. This movie's pretty good. Um, it can be boring because the just the locale it takes place in, I mean it's just kind of out in the middle of nowhere and. But I mean, other than being boring at times, it it still it you know it can be enjoyable. Um, the main reason why I bought it was because limited you know limited edition. Um, I think there's a number on the back here. Where is this? I'm pretty sure there's a a number of uh, how many how many DVDs of this came out, and which one this is. That must be on another movie I got. Anyway, this is, um, I mean, if you like limited edition movies or just films like this in general, this is, this is one of the better ones. Then a, we have a Giallo movie, um, the second Dario Argento movie he ever made, and that's The Cat of Nine Tells. And I heard lots of things where Dario Argento didn't like this as much as you know as his other movies. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I mean, it it did take its time getting to the point, but still, I, I think it's fun to watch. I mean, even though this movie may seem boring to lots of people today, I mean, it's close to two hours long. I, I still like watching this just because the time period and the way it was made. It, it's you know it's enjoyable to watch. And if you actually pay attention, there's a, there's a good story to it. 
Then we have a Euro Trash triple feature and a little box set with three movies in it. And, um, I have several of these triple feature box sets like this and they're all really good. Um, this one's this one's pretty good. It has uh, the reason why I got it mainly was because it has faceless and this is a uh, I mean used online. The cheapest I could find it was twelve dollars. Um, I got this entire entire box set for uh, fifteen. Um, this is a pretty good movie. This faceless. It's a little slow. I mean, most of these Italian movies can seem slow the very first time you watch them, but I mean, once you get into the story, it's it's not bad at all. And there's some there's some good gore scenes that definitely you know make make you a jolt. So you know, I definitely get just. I mean, if you're gonna get this movie, get it in this three pack. And along with it is a movie called Bad Inclination. And this is made just a few years ago. I think it was 2003. And I, I like it. It says on the back here, it's a, uh, th this film is distributed by Columbia TriStar Films Italia. It is an attempt to recreate the films of the genre like the ones made by Lucio Fulci and Lamberto Bava in the 1960s and 1970s that were adored by the public that hated and hated by the critics. So basically, this is a uh, a giallo made in 2003, kind of a an honor of the 60s and 70s giallo films. And this is this is your standard giallo. I mean, you you could tell when they made this that they they took a look at all those older movies and decided you know how they was gonna make it. You know all the red herrings, you know the the gloved killer, you know who's it gonna be. And this is actually pretty good. I mean, for being in this box set, you know, a definite watch if you're going to get this box set. Then the third movie in the box set, which I have yet to see, is called Witchery. And again, it's, uh, I think it's fairly new. It has uh, David Hasselhoff and Linda Blair in it. And, let's see here. It doesn't say what year it is on, right on the back here. But, again, this, I mean... This looks pretty good. The, the storyline is, um, it, it takes place in Massachusetts. Um, and, I mean, it definitely, I'm, I'll definitely watch this. It looks, you know, looks good enough to watch. And whether it's good or bad, I'll still have it. So that's, uh, that box set right there. Then the, uh, last one here is the first L Lucio Fulci film and uh, it's called The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Now this is the uh, two disc set and um, it includes some really good features and I was really surprised. I really really like this movie. I mean, ag again, if, uh, for first time viewers I think it could be a little boring just because how, how these movies are told these giallos are the kings of uh, the movies that ask a whole bunch of questions, but never answer anything up, you know, up front. You have to figure it out for yourself. And I mean, this is, I mean, th these movies are the king of that because you, you you can be confused the very first time you watch it because nothing nothing is ever told. You kind of have to look in the background of each scene to you know to get you know to get things told to you. So, I mean, this is um, a definite must get. If you if uh, if you uh, if you're somebody who wonders what giallo movies are, this is probably one of the very first ones you should watch to get a, to get a, you know a great idea of what a giallo is. So that's all for the two week update. And like I said, I don't get too many movies, especially here lately. And any movie I get now are mostly Italian movies. So I'm trying to catch up on all those. Um, Blu-rays. Um, every once in a while I'll get a new release. But most movies I either uh, do not like enough or already have. So, yeah, that's it for this.